dispersal of seeds by gravity. Large, round, heavy fruits just drop straight off the tree onto the ground when they are ripe. If they have a tough outer shell, they may roll some distance from the part parent plant. The higher up the tree they are and the larger they are, the farther they can roll. If they have a soft skin, they may break open when they hit the ground and the individual seeds may be scattered. On lower growing plants, many fruits and seeds are also heavy enough to fall to the ground without any other help. When they reach the ground, some seeds are taken further from the parent plant by animals or water. Seed dispersal by gravity include calabash, coconut, and apples. Dispersal of seeds by animals Animals of all sorts and sizes help plants to disperse their seeds. The method they use depends on the type of seed. Seeds with attractive fruits or seeds. To attract the animals and birds and encourage them to act as seed carriers, plants often surround their seeds with a brightly colored and sweet tasting pulp. As well as eating them, some animals collect the fruits or seeds and bury them to eat later. Some, exa some examples of the seed spread include raspberries, sea grapes, and bilberries. Seeds with clean hooks or spines. When animals take fruits or seeds for food, they act as willing transporters of the plant seeds. Sometimes the plant makes use to carry their seeds without giving them any reward. Many plants produce fruits or individual seeds covered in hooks or spines, which attach the seed to the animal's fur or feathers, or in the case of humans, to our clothes or bags. Some examples of seeds spread by this method include Antelia, Lesser Burdock, and Sea Holly. Dispersal of Seeds by Force Some plants provide their fruits seed pods through a mechanism that ejects the seeds from the pods by the pores. There are several methods of plants used to flying their seeds out of their seed pods. All of them rely on the effect of evaporation of water in the seed pods. So this method of seed dispersal surely takes place in the sun. Plants that disperse seeds by this method include broom, euphoria, and geranium. Dispersal of seeds by the wind. Wind is one of the main agencies of seed dispersal. The way it transports them depends on the type of seed and where it grows. Seeds that can fly or glide. Some tall trees produce seeds with stiff wings covering the seed that enable them to fly long distances. The wings are twisted and balanced so that the seed spins around as it is carried along by the wind. These natural adaptions for using the wind to transport the weight of the seed must be technically accurate as the wings of modern planes and helicopters are designed in the same way. Examples of seeds spread by the use of wings and tails are hornbeam, sycamore, and ash. Seeds that drift in the wind. Seeds that have almost weightless additions that enable them to be carried over long distances by the slightest breeze are familiar all over the world. These are the most flimsy additions to seeds which help them to be transported long distances by the wind. These additional features are usually various sorts of fluff which are almost weightless but increase the volume of the seed so that it can be picked up by the slightest breeze and carried over long distances. Examples of seeds spread by this method are willow herb, bulrush, and dandelion. Seeds that are released from their pod by the wind. Many more plants just need the wind to bend their stalks so that the seeds spill out of the seed pod. Some seed pods face downwards, but very many have their opening at the top, and these need the wind to bend their stalks allow enough to allow the seeds to fall out. This often means that the seeds will not fall directly under the parent plant because the stalk holding the seed pod is bent at an angle so the seeds fall a little away from the parent. Some seeds dispersed by this method are columbine, poppy, and evening primrose. Seed Dispersal of Seeds by Water Some plants make use of water to disperse their seeds. Plants which grow besides water often rely on water to transport their seeds for them. They may produce light seeds which float or there may be fluff that helps buoyancy. Trees found in tropical beaches often have their seeds carried by the sea. They have woody, waterproof coverings which enable them to float in the salty water for long periods. Seeds of some tropical trees can even carry along by ocean currents to land or shores half a world away. Seed spreads by this method include brook lime, yellow water lily, and mangrove.